We're in a desert area when it comes to food. You don't have a grocery store for at least three miles distance, north, south, east, and west. For many of our communities, that is the case. Food deserts are defined by the USDA. It started out as actually a mile without consistent access to fresh, healthy, and affordable food. They since realized that that is ridiculous. A mile is a long way, especially in a city. So they've adjusted it, so now it's about a half mile, and they do take into account things like access to transportation and average household income and what goes into what creates a food desert environment. How can we bridge together relationships with the community, with young people, with families, in order to knock down these systems that have created this? Food access is something that we can and should fix. Okay, this is, uh, we're going to 35th and Prospect. Canby's markets exist to fix a fixable problem. Eliminating food insecurity and eliminating food deserts. We solve that problem by working with the corner convenience stores, the mom and pop shops, the, that existing infrastructure that is a part of the framework of those communities. This is healthy food, actually grown by local farmers, and we work with wholesale produce to bring these healthy foods into these communities. The cost is cut dramatically and uh, for more people to afford it. We try and do it seven days a week by bringing in all the equipment that they need to make selling fresh produce easy, and then the produce itself is brought in on consignment, so there's no risk to that small business owner. Right, have a good, have a good one. Once we heard about you know, KB's Market, it was a perfect partnership for us and our customers as well. I mean, first time when you see it, they all of them surprised. You know, like we're selling fruit and vegetable here. I was really happy about it because there's hardly any produce around here. The biggest shocker is when they look and say, really, I could buy a tomato for like 49 cents instead of $1.50. When you sit there and, and you're taking their produce and their vegetables and you, you restocking the shelf and you got people come and say, well, I thank you that this is here. You hear it all the time, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's not like it's scripted or anything, it just happens at random moments. I think sometimes I feel, they make me feel like I'm Superman. So. Being able to be that local shop that provides healthy or alternative is a great pride for us and our staff as well. When I see that single mother and her child go in there and, they, and the first thing the kid does is run for the bag of candy <laughs> and the mother gives her a bag of grapes, you know, that, 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 that's, that's, that's the change I see. I would love that in five years Access is solved in Kansas City, and we're really starting to look national, and the speed at which things can grow from there means that in 10 years, 15 years, that real food should be accessible, affordable to everybody in the country. It, it's work here. It will work everywhere.